I went back into the buildings and this is where I maybe I've changed too much like the country lads I don't fit back in I'm maybe too soft or maybe I just don't have the patience for it because what I realised going back into construction I took over the building the, the management of building of these 12 houses right million euro houses and you want to see the urchins they had fucking building these things right <laughs> the trades were okay coming in but it was the two labourers they left me with you'd want to fucking see these two like I genuinely would have had the support cat fucking on the blocks <laughs> They were Benny and Carl, and these two absolute specimens that I was gifted to work full-time on site. To give you an example of what we're dealing with here with the two boys, Benny smoked eight joints a day throughout the workday, but he's not a lunatic. He balanced it out with eight cans of Red Bull <laughs> just to jackhammer his fucking system. Like, he'll be... He's definitely dead now. Like, you know what I mean? It's... <laughs> definitely dead. Walk into one of the houses looking for fucking Carl. Carl is standing with his hands in his pockets, looking into the corner of the room, laughing his head off like a fucking lunatic, right? <laughs> this is what you're dealing with. You're supposed to be, these fuckers are supposed to be working. I said, you rotten bastard, get back to work. I was just thinking, Thomas, you've never thought a fucking thought in your entire life. What were you thinking? I need to know. Do you like Chinese food? This is a Tuesday morning. Do you like Chinese food? I'm like, if anything shuts you up and gets you back to work, Christ, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, Carl, I like all Asian food. I go for... He went, I swear to God, he swung around and went, Oh, fucking Asian food. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that, shoy. <laughs> <laughs> One more example. Two boys were half an hour late after lunch. I went looking for them. They're sitting outside the canteen smoking weed, looking at the sky. I says, Why the fuck aren't you two back at work? I'm going to fucking shoot you. Carl says, go on, tell him. You're fucking dead, Roy. He fucking hit the nail on the head there now. Go on, Benny, tell him. If he was alive today, Tomo, my fucking neighbour didn't Tomo, but go on. Well, if who was alive today? If he was alive today with the state of the world, he'd be fucking furious, wouldn't he? In my head, I'm thinking, who could he be on about? Jesus? Huh? Michael Collins, maybe. <laughs> fucking Gandhi. God knows who. I sure shit didn't think about who he was fucking about to say next. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, Tom. <laughs> That's where their reality is at, these two fuckers.